Between October 15 to 18, a 50-member team from the Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labrador visited Ghana as part of a trade mission to leverage partnership with appropriate Guyanese businesses and work with them to access opportunities in the oil and gas sector. In this week's edition of InfoHub Extended, we take a look at some of the engagements the delegation had during their mission. I'm voting for local government election because I'm hoping to, to see a lot of changes in the area in terms of development, infrastructure. Um, a lot of uh, stuff has to be done in the region and I only feel um, it can be done, um, or I feel that it could only be done by the, your members or the persons around who you're affiliated with and who you know who you can raise issues with who you can talk with and those are the local persons in your area that you might be voting for. Those persons, uh, if you, you, you have a right to elect a, a person who can act and work for you and not only you for the, uh, for the betterment of the community, the village, your region in a whole. Local government election would give you that chance to, to get that person who you have confidence and trust in, um, not uh, politically but to have a development generally in your region. So it's not, I, I, I'm encouraging everybody else to go out and vote as well. The Ghana Office for Investment, Go Invest, in collaboration with the High Commission of Canada and the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, facilitated the trade mission. The CEO of Go Invest, Owen Verwe. Just about a year ago, we hosted a very similar activity at exactly the same location and the exactly the same two organizations. One big difference. This year we're looking at double the numbers in participants coming from the north who has uh, those with the experience and I know for sure we may not see the numbers here but I know for sure there was lots more Guyanese that have participated in this trade mission. An important feature of the trade mission was the signing of a memorandum of understanding between Guyana and the government of Newfoundland and Labrador. Minister of Business Dominic Gaskin and Minister of Natural Resources from Newfoundland and Labrador Simon Cody signed a three-year MOU for technical cooperation on oil and gas. Minister of Business Dominic Gaskin said building a long-standing partnership is important to the development of the oil and gas sector. I think it becomes all the more important that we benefit from the experiences of those who have done this before. So with that in mind, I am grateful for the opportunity to have or to share experiences with the government of Newfoundland and Labrador as well as the private sector. Minister Cody also stressed the importance of partnership in maximizing opportunities in oil and gas. And I know that working together, I know that one of the things that we in Newfoundland and Labrador uh, uh, did in our early days of developing our offshore oil and gas industry was work with joint ventures and others that had had that experience and so that we could develop and do that knowledge transfer and that's what we're here today to work with you uh, to, to give you the experiences that we have so that you can, uh, you can build and grow your opportunity here in Guyana. A working committee will be established as part of implementing the MOU. Minister Cody said knowledge transfer is a key feature of the MOU. It certainly is a great opportunity for the Guyanese and, and the Guyana people to really enjoy the, pros the prosperity that comes with oil and gas development and how important it will be for, I think, the continued uh, opportunities for the people of this great, prop this great country. Newfoundland and Labrador have some 20 years experience in oil and gas development and 30 years experience producing oil and gas. The Canadian High Commissioner Lillian Chatterjee facilitated a networking reception for the local private sector and their Newfoundland and Labrador counterparts to close off the first day of the trade mission. Addressing the Canadian private sector group, Business Minister Dominic Gaskin assured Guyana is open for business but also cautioned that bad practices will not be tolerated. We don't want foreign companies to come to Guyana believing that this is a free-for-all and that our entire country can be bought. We want you to come to Guyana with a very clear understanding that this is a good place to do business, a clean place to do business, a profitable place to do business. The reception, hosted by Canadian High Commissioner Lillian Chatterjee, was a networking opportunity for local and foreign private sector and business persons. 
Director of the Department of Energy, Dr. Mark Baino, assured his department is working towards the efficient and effective management of the oil and gas sector. We within the Department of Energy will continue to seek ways to streamline operations that will occur within the sector and which are essential for our private sector partners. This streamlining focuses on five broad principles, efficiency, transparency, predictability, balance, and evidence-based decision-making. Dr. Baino noted the department is working to increase the value proposition for Guyana's oil and gas sector. He said the trade mission was timely. It is through joint ventures that Guyanese businesses may be afforded the opportunity to exploit mid and downstream opportunities while simultaneously raising their standards and increasing their competitiveness. From the standpoint of transparency, the department has a mandate to create a conducive environment that will allow the fostering of efficient and effective management of the oil and gas sector. This is being pursued by the department and its sister agencies through the crafting or revision, piloting and enactment of the requisite acts, policies, and legislation in the areas of petroleum, the Petroleum Commission Bill, the Local Content Bill, and the Sovereign Wealth Fund Bill, to name but a few. The Department of Energy is also working to ensure that there is a level playing field for the local private sector to take appropriate risk to garner accessible rate of returns. We espouse balance. As a Department of Energy, our focus is to ensure that maximum benefit from this new and emerging sector redound to the benefit of Guyana and Guyanese. As such, we encourage balance and fairness in all your deliberations and trust that these will continue to guide our enduring friendship. Natural Resources Minister of Newfoundland and Labrador, Simon Cody, also stressed the importance of joint ventures in developing the oil and gas sector. And we have brought some of our great Newfoundland and Labrador com uh, companies here today uh, to meet with the Guyanese, to meet with great Guyana companies, to share in the knowledge transfer that we have been able to gain over the last 20 years. origin that we all should go out and vote at the local government elections because it's important for us to choose who we would like to have be making decisions on our behalf. As a community in Linden, it's only right that we should be involved in making choices of those whom we would like to see represent us represent interests and for the betterment of our community in Linden. So I'm urging and appealing to all, come out and vote. Your vote is important. Every vote counts. Day two of the trade mission saw the Newfoundland and Labrador and Oil and Gas Industries Association sharing experiences with Ghanaians and fielding questions. The event was held at the Umaniana. The audience engaged the Newfoundland and Labrador Oil and Gas Industries Association, commonly referred to as NOIA, and Minister of Natural Resources from Newfoundland, Simon Cody. Developing local content capacity were among the concerns raised by Guyanese. Minister Cody noted collaboration with industry operators is critical to filling existing gaps in skills training. Because you have to address the gaps and the needs requirements. Uh, and I know that the operators are quite keen to, uh, to ensure that they have the right training modules as well. So I think that as, as you move forward, you'll be working with other partners around the world to ensure you address the education gaps that you may have because there is very specific skills required for the industry. The minister was also quizzed on how her province avoided the resource curse. Minister Cody noted that planning for growth and development is a positive challenge to have. As you move through your journey, with uh, having more royalties and more taxation acquired by the government, uh, by having more investments made through the supply and service industry, you too will start to see that kind of growth and development and prosperity coming, you know, coming to your communities. And I think to to, to say that it's a, a it's a positive challenge to have to worry about how you maintain and, and ensure that growth is, is effective, that is positive. 
And I know that you have some very learned people that are considering this. You Apart from their engagement with the general public, more than 12 partnerships with local companies were established during the trade mission. Member of the Board of Directors of the Newfoundland and Labrador Oil and Gas Industries Association, Michael Critch, noted the level of interest in the local oil and gas sector has increased profoundly. Our delegation has, has grown significantly from last year uh, to this year, with the number of companies coming uh, near doubling. And I would also add that, um, you know, the interest from Guyana people and the interest from Guyana businesses is, has increased profoundly. There's a lot more activity, there's a lot more oil found here now. It makes it a lot more prolific and kind of exciting, not only for Guyanese people, but for oil and in gas industry businesses around the world to try to figure out if there's a place here or if there isn't a place here for us to partner or joint venture with local companies. Critz stated that participants will contribute to developing local content, giving Noya's experience in the oil and gas sector. We hope that we can kind of pay it forward. You know, you guys are trying to learn what do we need to do in industry to, so that it can have an impact on my life, you know, as a Guyanese person. So you're trying to find your place and, and the only way for it to really work is to get involved learn how to get into the industry, and it will affect people directly, and it will affect people indirectly. But partnerships can be the best way to get those skills quickly, because if you find the right partner with the right value system and the right feelings as you, they will quickly transfer their skills to you, and then you can take that and expand uh, your own horizons, your own knowledge in Guyana, and probably in, in a few years be able to pass it on to the next jurisdiction. One of the local companies that benefited from the partnership during the trade mission was Action Invest. CEO Vishnu Dorga said the company has been serving the Guyanese market over the past four years. Now, the company is working with a Canadian company, NSB Energy, to improve its operations to service the oil and gas industry. Just about a month ago, we were able to finalize our joint venture and set up NSB Omega in Guyana, which is a majority Guyanese-owned company. Um, because we've seen how partnerships have worked to really give uh, Newfoundland its capacity from some 20 years ago to today. So we know that in Ghana, you know, we're not going to arrive at local content on day one. It takes building local capacity. Uh, we've been doing that and we see this as a huge step for us um, in terms of being able to deliver these services to the market. And also a huge step for Ghana because now a lot of the skills that were not available before will now be brought to the market through our partnership. Critch, who is also the CEO of NSB Energy, related to the challenges in local content Guyana is faced with. Uh, I myself have been in the oil and gas industry as an engineer for some 25 years now. And I can say that back then, uh, at the very infancy of the offshore oil and gas industry in Canada, we lacked the skills, we lacked the understanding of the industry uh, that you probably are facing somewhat in Guyana. So we understand we've been there, we've kind of been through it, and we learned a lot of lessons. So um, now as we look to expand our horizons, having worked with ExxonMobil for many years, our business is technical staffing. So we hire project management personnel and engineering personnel, and all the, the, the technical uh, skilled workers that work within the industry and then we, we utilize those uh, skills either offshore or onshore in building the industry. CEO for Go Invest Owen Verway pointed out that more than 95 businesses engaged the trade mission during its visit. Over 12 local companies established partnerships with the visiting Canadian trade mission. This has been another edition of InfoHub Extended. Do join us again. The reason why I would encourage people to come out and vote for the local co government because your voice has to be heard and for your voice to be heard you have to come out and vote and let the people know exactly what is going on in your community. You are the most important person in your community and without you the head of government and other people who are responsible for the communities would not know what is going on in the community. So we need to come out and vote to show that you have interest in your community and you would like to see your community move forward and also to explain what you need to be done in your community.